right then, welcome back. Breakfast Central on News Central today, Friday, the 25th day of October 2019. Don't forget you can reach us on social media at News Central TV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and not forgetting YouTube where you can go there, click, watch, and uh, like the videos. And also log on to the website to catch your more of them stories on www.newscentral.africa. Let's go straight now to some uh, Foodie Friday, if you may. And uh, so before we um, make, you know, all those good and bad choices uh, when it comes to food. We know the weekend is coming here. I think uh, myself and Bimbai are looking to go get into some fries. I know we all have different ideas of what is healthy and what is unhealthy. But uh, our ideas, uh, you know, might be, you know, have a varied sense of things. I'm joined by Oetolani, a registered dietitian with me in the studio. And they're going to debunk some of those popular health uh, myth. Ratulani, welcome. Good morning Good to morning. you. So it's all about eating healthy yeah. uh, this morning. Well, uh, I was having a conversation about the, the fries. <laughs> I think we can start. We can start from that. Okay, and as no Africans, problem. you know, uh, whatever you're from, the Yoruba part, the Igbo part, mm -hmm. maybe some South South part, we love our fried chicken, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, but uh, in terms of eating healthy, you know, uh, in the morning. Okay, this is breakfast. So let's start from breakfast. Where do we, what should we be eating, first of all? Oh, well, Rec that's recommended you, and healthy, you know. <laughs> the first thing to say is um, your three regular meals, mm. your breakfast, lunch, and yeah. dinner. What, what, what can my very, breakfast, very you know, should... Light. Yeah. Your breakfast shouldn't be heavy. Yeah. Well, yes. they say sometimes even it's good to have a, you know, buffet, you know, a big breakfast. No, 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 no. no. They say eat like a king at breakfast. Yeah. It means that... You don't you, you go after quality, not uh, quantity per oh. se, so that you can give your day your best shot. Okay. And you won't be feeling sleepy hard yeah. work. So you don't load up in the morning. You have something like bread, uh, just like maybe two slices of bread, hmm. a cup of tea and um but there's also the talk about you know people going for smoothies, green smoothies yes. these days. Is, yes. it, is it a thing? Is uh, it a fad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh well, it depends on how you carry out uh, the, the, act, the, the practice of taking smoothie. Mm. If you, uh, okay, for instance now, your health, uh, your health uh, status mm. should be known. For instance, you have ulcer, and then you're taking yeah. lots of smoothie, first thing in the morning, and you're not eating until hours after. Mm. That would be injurious. But smoothies are naturally good. I mean, yeah, you, you use fruits, you use vegetables, yeah. and these are powerful antioxidants. They help to flush out toxins from the body. But overdoing them, mm. or for instance, you have a specific health disorder. For instance, someone is diabetic, like I mentioned also the other time, okay. you can't use just any kind of fruits. You mm. can't use, you have to be guided appropriately. All yes. right, but been, we've been always been warned about you know, carbohydrates, uh, sugar and fat. Uh, okay. What's your opinion on, on those, especially for breakfast? Yes, there was a time I did an article on war against carbohydrates because now it seems everybody has issues with carbohydrates. Mm. But the thing is, what are carbohydrates? They are energy giving food. Okay. Yes, they should form like 50% of our diet. Oh, 50%? Yes. Okay. Now, it is about the kind of carbohydrates that, that you, mm. you are taking. It should be more of all grains, less of the processed one. When I talk about all grains, I'm talking about your oats, for instance. Oh. I'm talking about your millet, okay. less of the packed. And the reason why is because the packed ones, they, they've been processed. Oh. Vital things have been removed from, you know, from that. So if you do more of local rice, you do more of a whole grain cereals, you'll mm. be fine. Okay. You know, the issue people are having now, they go low on carbs, they increase protein or some for keto diet, they increase fat. Give them some few months or years. For those with a keto diet, mm. they fall prey of cholesterolemia, high cholesterol. And when, you, and when you have high cholesterol, what does that entail? Does it, yeah. Okay, let me tell you, it's, <laughs> it's, we would call it silent death because it forms plaques oh. in the arterial wall. Okay. You know, and then gradually it fills up till blood flow is and compromised. And to get high cholesterol, it, it's, it has oil, right, uh, and fries uh, for high cholesterol. Well, fries, what's the main source of fries, the high cholesterol? Fries. Or, or you get it from um, excess uh, fatty foods of unsaturated fatty acids. Now, okay. when I talk about unsaturated fatty acids, I talk about and trans fat. I talk about your ice creams. I talk about the unhealthy fat like beef. 
mm. the red meat. Mm. I, I, I talk about something like uh, chicken, the outer skin, the outer skin. Now I'm talking about the outer skin. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you can you can have chicken. You can okay. have chicken, but then the outer skin is more cholesterol rich mm. than you know the, the the inside. Just remove the outer skin and mm. you're fine. And then when you use oil. Use, you, you have healthier options. Mm. Use something like extra virgin cooking olive oil. Mm. Okay, do less frying. At times, just grill. Just, just grill. don't fry every, every time. Fry every time. Yes. yes, and they do the fish oil, oh, rich true. in omega 3. Yeah. This actually uh, you know, removes and reduces uh, cholesterol. Cholesterol level. Uh, level. They always talk about you know, avoiding late carbohydrates. What's yes. your opinion on this? Yes. You know, I was looking at, I was just thinking that lots of Lagos ladies, mm. I'm sorry, now they, they have big tummies, even though they're not married. You know, you see big.